The first thing that we need to do is to check your printer and make sure that it's printing correctly. Um, if you're getting any issues with your printer, if you're getting uh, sort of color cast when you're just printing on automatic settings or so, um, and it's not down to using third party paper or third party inks, um, if you're just using standard OEM inks and OEM paper and you're getting very strange results, um, a profile isn't going to fix that. Uh, that needs to be fixed before you actually get a profile made. Uh, so I'll show you how you can do that. Uh, you go into your system preferences down here, go to print and scan, and you get your list of printers up here. Now, uh, for mine, I just need to go into options and supplies, and we've got a utility tab on there. Um, I check your supply levels as well, make sure that you got nothing on there. Um, a profile, you know, if, providing you're using reasonably quality inks, um, a profile isn't affected by changing ink cartridge. Um, it will be affected if you're using a different type of ink cartridge, so if you're changing over to a different make of ink or something like that, then make sure that they've those cartridges have all been installed I've been running for a number of prints, say 15 prints or so, so you've got the new ink going for your system. Um, you don't want any of the old ink there from a, a different sort of ink supplier. Um, but generally, as long as you've got enough ink to print profiling charts, you'll be fine. You go to a utility. Uh, on this one, you've got the option for printing a test page and cleaning the print heads. Uh, your driver may have different options on there, but all drivers have the option for doing a test print and cleaning the printer heads. What it is is basically the, the printer heads uh, where you've got all the, the nozzles for outputting the ink onto the paper. Occasionally you get dried ink on those, they just uh, they dry up and they clog. And what you'll see on the screen, particularly when printing the profiling charts, is that you'll get all these thin lines of a different colour going through one of the patches. It'll actually go through a number of the different patches. If it's bad, it will affect all the patches. Sometimes it just affects a certain type of colour. So um, you might notice it more on the green patches or the blue patches. Uh, but what you need to do is to make sure that you've got that solved before you actually attempt to do the profiling charts. So you click on the print test page then that will go away and it will then print off a test page which is normally a whole load of lines and as well normally kind of grid pattern and you can normally see little white spaces little gaps within that grid pattern now if you see that those spaces that's an indication that you've got a block nozzle um, if you see that then you go to clean print heads and run that utility and that will basically go through a cleaning process um, and then it'll either give you the option to print another test page or else you need to come back to this screen and print another test page to make sure that it worked. If you've got a particular problem with uh, block nozzles you might find you need to clean them a number of times before they actually become unblocked. Um, so it's, it's definitely worthwhile doing this before you print the profiling charts. It's also worthwhile going back to this uh, screen after you print the profiling charts because we have had cases in the past where the profile starts off fine, the first chart starts printing fine, but a block nozzle has occurred you know, during the actual printing and by the end of the second chart we're getting all, the, sort of, all these vertical lines appear. Uh, now we can't do anything about that, you know, we just have to reject the charts and ask you to print them again. Um, no, it needs to be fully working your printer. You no, know, if you have got blocked nozzles and you can't get rid of them, don't go ahead and uh, sort of print the profiling charts. Um, you need to look at other options for like unblocking those nozzles first. 